The USA H-64D Apache attack helicopter successfully launched a rocket, equipped with an advanced precision kill weapon system, APKWS kit on a high-precision target. The modular design of the APKWS kit allows the system to be paired with existing rockets or new design rockets, includes kits between the motor and warheads and has completed more than 20 types of light and heavy fighter aircraft and helicopter. This system uses a sophisticated optical locator on a small wing that functions after being fired. Distributed Aperture Semi-Active Laser Seek Technology DASALS, provides four search systems placed on four small wings that work together as one unit. The Manufacturing Company they claims APKWS is the most effective laser-guided ammunition in its class, enabling precision attack capability at a low price, separate from the price of a brimstone missile. According to Bay, APKWS is designed to move moving and stationary targets from a distance of more than 3 kilometers 1.9 miles. This system has a minimum range of 1.5 kilometers and a maximum of 5 kilometers. Apache A-64 is an American turboshaft attack helicopter with a rear-wheel landing gear type and a tandem cockpit for two crew members. It features a series of sensors mounted on the nose for target acquisition and night vision systems. This weapon is armed with 30mm M230, 1.18-in chain shotgun carried between the main landing gear, under the front fuselage and four hard points mounted on the pilot's wing mass to carry weaponry and stores, usually a mixture of Hellfire AGM missile minus 114 in the Hydra 70 rocket pod. A-64 has a significant redundancy system to improve combat defense capability. Apache began when Model 77 was developed by the Hughes helicopter for the U.S. Army Advanced Attack Helicopter program to replace the Cobra A-1. The Ya-64 prototype was first flown on September 30, 1975. The U.S. Army chose Ya-64 over Bell Ya-63 in 1976, and then agreed to full production in 1982. After buying Hughes helicopters in 1984, McDonnell Douglas continued A-64 production and development. Helicopters were introduced to U.S. Army service in April 1986. Sophisticated Apache Longbow AH-64D was sent to the Army in March 1997. Production was continued by Boeing Defense, Space and Security, with more than 2,000 A-64 produced in 2013. U.S. Army is the main operator of A-64. It also became the main attack helicopter for many countries, including Greece, Japan, Israel, the Netherlands, Singapore and the United Arab Emirates. It has been built under license in the United Kingdom as Augusta Westland Apache. Following the cancellation of the Cheyenne A-56 in 1972, supporting projects such as the U.S. Air Force A-10 Thunderbolt II and the Harrier Marine Corps, the United States Army is looking for aircraft to fill the role of anti-armor attacks which will remain under Army command. The 1948 Key West Treaty forbade the Army to repair wing aircraft. The Army wants a plane that is better than the Cobra A-1 in firepower, performance and range. It will have maneuverability for terrain after a nap on Earth, no way. For this purpose, the U.S. Army issued a request for proposal RFP, for Advanced Attack Helicopters ah, on November 15, 1972, as a sign of the importance of this project. In September 1973 the Army appointed its five most important projects as the Big Five, with AH included. The proposal was submitted by Bell, the Boeing Bertal, Grumman team, Hughes Lockheed, and Sikorsky. In July 1973, the U.S. Department of Defense selected the finalists of Bell and Toolco's Hughes Aircraft Division, later Hughes Helicopter. 
This starts phase one of the competition. Each company makes prototype helicopters and undergo a flight test program. Hughes 77, YAH-64A The Hughes model first flew on 30 September 1975, while the Bell model 409, YAH-63A prototype first flew on 1 October 1975. After evaluating the test results, the Army chose U yah 64 a over Bell's yah 63 a in 1976. The reason for choosing the yah 64 a includes a four-blade main rotor that is more tolerant of damage and instability of the yah 63 tricycle landing gear arrangement. The AH-64A then enters Phase 2 of the AW program in which three pre-production AW-64s will be built. In addition, two YAH-64A flight prototypes and a ground test unit are upgraded to the same standard. Weapons and sensor systems are integrated and tested so far, including laser-guided AGM-114 Hellfire missiles. The development of Hellfire missiles began in 1974, initially known as Helicopter, Launched, Fire and Forget Missile, Hellfire, being short. For the purpose of arming the helicopter platform with effective anti-tank missiles, The AGR-20A Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System APKWS, is a design conversion of Hydra 70 unguided rockets with a laser guidance kit to turn them into precision-guided munitions PGMs. APKWS is approximately one-third the cost and one-third the weight of the current inventory of laser-guided weapons, has a lower yield more suitable for avoiding collateral damage and takes one quarter of the time for ordnance personnel to load and unload. As of February of 2019, Base Systems had manufactured 25,000 APKWS units. Where possible the system utilizes existing Hydra 70 components such as launchers, rocket motors, warheads and fuses. The weapon bridges the gap between the Hydra 70 and AGM-114 Hellfire systems and provides a cost-effective method of engaging lightly armored point targets. APKWS is the U.S. government's only program of record for the semi-active, laser-guided 2.75-inch rocket. It converts the Hydra 70 unguided rocket into a precision-guided munition through the addition of a mid-body guidance unit developed by Bay Systems. The APKWS has also been successfully tested in live-fire exercises with the Forges de Zeebrugge FC, unguided rocket, converting it into a precision-guided munition and demonstrating the technology can be used on other rocket types than the Hydra 70. The winning bidder for the APKWS-2 contract was the team of Bay Systems, Northrop Grumman and General Dynamics, beating out the offerings from Lockheed Martin and Raytheon Systems. The APKWS-2 uses the Distributed Aperture Semi-Active Laser Seeker DASALS, technology. This system allows the laser seeker to be located in the leading edge of each of the forward control canards working in unison as if they were a single seeker. This configuration allows existing warheads from the Hydra 70 system to be used without the need for a laser seeker in the missile nose. The APKWS-2 system is composed of the launch platform, rockets equipped with a WGU-59, B mid-body guidance unit, the Langton 72 Blau 68F A rocket launcher, the SCS-7A Ming-Q, not needed for attack helicopters, and Fast Pack BA-140 and CNU-711 E storage kits for rockets and guidance kits, respectively, to ensure they are safe in the field. The WGU-59 B mid-body guidance unit is equipped with DASALS Seeker Optics which deploy 0.5 seconds after launch and are attached in, between the MK-66 Mod 4 rocket motor and a warhead and fuse. 
which increases length by 18.5 in 47 centimeters and weight by 9 pounds 4.1 kilograms over the legacy Hydra system. Firing ranges are 1,100 to 5,000 meters, the former of which can be hit less than 5 seconds after firing. Maximum range is constrained by use of the existing Hydra 70 motor, but since the seeker can see as far as 14 kilometers 8.7 miles, a more powerful motor could extend range while retaining accuracy. Namo is working on a modified rocket motor that can extend range to 12 to 15 kilometers 7.5 to 9.3 miles.